Hi guys, it's Zach with Herco North America. In the video tool and part setup on a lathe, I showed you how to set up your tools manually on your Herco lathe. But what about the new customer who just got their first lathe with a tool presetter? Or maybe you have a new machinist on your floor who isn't too familiar with your Herco lathes. Well, don't worry, we're here to help today and we're gonna show you a tutorial on how to set up your tooling on your Herco lathe with a tool presetter. To get started, you will need to first press the input key. Then select the tool review soft key. Press the tool setup soft key. Now the screen you are seeing right now should have a predefined tool already set up. If you don't know how to set up your tools on a lathe yet, we have a tutorial video linked right here above or in the description below for you to review. Now, if your tools are predefined already, go ahead and click on the geometry offset soft key. Then select the tool setter key. Now, before you go any further, I want you to make sure that you have enough room for the tool setter to swing into position. Press the advanced tool setter soft key, then hit the start cycle button. You will then need to grab your hand wheel and select an increment of feed to activate it. After that, go ahead and jog your tool to the center of the stylus and have it set approximately six millimeters or about a quarter of an inch away. Once you have your tool into position, take a look at your control. You'll notice that if you're on a live tool lathe, you'll have three options to choose from when selecting your tool type. We have standard tool, radial tool, and axial tool. If you're on a two axis lathe, these options will not appear on your screen. And on a standard two axis lathe, you should already be in the correct location for the next steps. Now, depending on what you need, you will now select the axis direction you want to touch off. And as you can see, we have four options to choose from, X in the negative direction, X in the positive direction, Z in the negative direction, Z in the positive direction. In this example, we're going to touch off our tool in the Z axis first. And if you recall, we jogged our tool down along the center of the stylus on the right side. So we want to move to the left in the negative direction to touch it off. We can do this by selecting the Begin Touch Z negative soft key. Then select the Start Cycle button. Once the tool setter has completed the cycle, your new Z axis offset will be stored for that tool. So we have finished setting up the tool in the Z axis. Let's get it set up on the X axis now. We want our tool to move down in a negative direction along the X axis. So go ahead and grab your hand wheel again and select an increment of feed to activate it. You'll need to jog your tool to the center of the stylus and set it approximately six millimeters or a quarter of an inch away from the stylus along the X axis. Once you're in position, press the Begin Touch X negative soft key then hit the start cycle button. After the cycle is completed, the new X axis offset for that tool will be stored. You will just need to repeat these steps again for each new tool that you want to touch off. Please note that if you accidentally select the wrong axis soft key, all you need to do is hit the stop cycle button, reposition your tool and start over and you'll be good to go. Another common mistake we see operators make is when they leave too much distance between the tool and the stylus after they've jogged it into position. They think they're good to go, so they hit that start cycle button, and all of a sudden they get this pop-up that says, error, probe did not trigger. All you need to do to resolve this issue is jog your tool closer to the stylus and select the appropriate begin touch soft key, and then your problem should go away. Now that you're all done with your tools, you'll need to grab your hand wheel again and select any increment of feed to activate it. You'll need to jog the turret away from the tool setter. We need to do this so it has enough room to move freely as we store it away. Then press the Retract Tool Setter soft key. Once your tool presetter is out of the way, you should be ready to go. So hit the Start Cycle soft key and you'll be all done. Well guys, I hope today's video was helpful. And if you have any suggestions on what tutorials you would like to see from us in the future, please leave a comment below. And finally, remember to subscribe to our channel Click that like button below and hit that notification bell. Take care.